Hi, Seekers. Going up the long staircase. Stairway to heaven. It's a long one. I do it like six times a day, so you'd think I'd have like a, a Brazilian booty, but I don't. I don't. Not even close. I got a, I got a granny booty. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Ay, ay, ay. Painted my nails. They're mine. I got really strong ones. Hey, welcome. If you're new here, please subscribe. Oh, I got a plug in. Oh, I just had lunch. I just had lunch at three o'clock. Oh, I'm shutting the door. Cause you know who's coming. Okay. I'm back. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. This is, listen, you guys. I've tried to tell you before, and I know, I know, I know. Lessons learned. Because <laughs> one time before, okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, there's, there's things you cannot, I don't know. If you're on a monetized channel, there are just things that are, I guess opinions on YouTube are, well, we'll see if we like your opinion, right? But when it comes to religion and politics and, you know, the j jibby jab and uh, <laughs> all that, it it is a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope, people. Yeah, we know, Sandy, where you been? We covered that like yesterday. Last night. We 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 jumped right in on that live stream. Thank you, Legatha. Thank you. Yeah. Um, this is the first day where I am out of that crying state and I am on to uh like actively how do I put this? Um helping this person I'm trying I'm trying to find the words. Um it's a very difficult situation with with no exact answers yet, but all roads leading to de devastation. And I am, I have flipped the script in my mind, in my brain, and I'm, I'm like uh, trying to rise above the, the heartache um, to be able to be progressive and in being uh, actively helpful is where I'm at right now. Now, tomorrow or next week might be a whole nother day. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I need the prayers. And, and I got to be honest, the prayers you guys have been praying, like, put me in a different mindset this morning. And I've been, this morning, I was working so hard. And I like, I've put myself, it's almost like God said, okay, okay. We're done crying, and and here's here's where we got to go from here, and and I think that's because of you guys, because for two days straight I have, um, I've been heartbroken, uh, so heartbroken, and I am trying now to see a path and not get bogged down with grief. Do you see what I'm saying? Without being specific. Because it is a very, very, very private thing. You are needed. Absolutely, Legertha. You guys have no idea the power of your prayer. It is intense. You guys are so needed. My nails. Oh, yeah, I painted those. Um, 
Yeah. And that's the best way you can help. And it's the best way I can help. And, you know, taking myself out of that, that dark grief, you know, that grief, anybody, you know, you've been in there, you can't, you, you just can't think of anything else but that grief. Well, it keeps you in a negative headspace, right? Because grief is not going to help go forward and and do what needs to be done or at least be a part of trying to help. And that's where I'm at now. So today's, you know, I'm, I'm pulling away from that right now. And if I got to revisit that, I, I'm going to have to revisit it. But at this stage, I'm like, what can I do? Here's what we should do. Lord, guide me. And, and I've been guided this morning. I promise you that. Thank you. I Same color, my toes. I did a pedicure too. Grief is, wow. Oh, I'm going to tell you, man. The things that pour out of you with grief, like good, bad, and ugly. It's good, bad, and ugly. It is it can be very overwhelming right yes lagertha hi fresh flowers hi hi toodles yeah i need i still need uh prayers for strength so i can be the strength for somebody else yeah and it's hard when you don't know god's plan but god also guides you right on the path you're supposed to be on and that got real hazy for a minute but now now we'll see we will see people so anyway the whole youtube vi live stream i did now if you didn't know in the past i did a live stream <laughs> That made me, and it was about uh, religion, and it almost got me taken down, okay? can I, Sometimes I'm always like, fuck around and find out, and I'm fine with that. Because I still feel like we as people, we as people um, should be able to um, talk about things, but this is not my platform. This is my channel, but not my platform. And... It's not that I have a fear of that, but I'm about to be ready to be doing something epic on No Madness Adventures, okay? Epic. And you thought it was the cargo trailer, but I'm going I'm going a different route. Because the cargo trailer's cool and all, it really is. Um, but I'm not going to say anything on the other channel until we have it, and then I'm going to show you. And then... The series of a lifetime begins. I'm not even kidding. I am so serious. It is going to be epic because I'm the kind of person, like, I can already give you, like, a little hint um, because it'll be over on the other channel when we get it. But the thing is, I have some old soul. I like to give things new life. Uh, we did it with a mobile home that people just just destroyed it. They didn't care. And we gave it all new life. And it was like, yes. You know what I mean? That fills my soul. So we did that with a Class C, like a 1970s Class C, right? But that was our, like, these were our first steps into, like, trying to do this. It was overwhelming. Now, no. Nothing overwhelms us now. We're like, we're... We are ready to tackle like the biggest freaking thing. Uh, and this can be epic. Because first of all, my husband's a genius. He, he is a carpenter like you've never seen when it comes to creating with his hands and wood and tools. It's like, whoa. I mean, he is bar none the best. If, if, if I give him the vision, he can make it. What's going on with Unicorn? Oh, you have... You had tornadoes touched down in your county. You over the, you down there were all crazies been for like two days straight. Oklahoma, Kentucky, Tennessee. Okay, JC, prayers to you. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. You had a huge craftsman toolbox almost crush you? <gasps> oh, you just had that done. Now you're getting okay. You're a strong woman. You got this. Well, I I I I can be strong, but I also grieve hard. I love hard and I grieve hard. Like I really do. Oh, you're in Kentucky. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, Mr. J. Quinn. Have a suman, Jamie. So anyway, um, yeah, so I like to take something that used to have life and give it a new life. I know, isn't that something? Like, but I'm not, like, I'm not even attracted to antique stores. So make this make sense. I, I am only, like, drawn to certain things. It's weird. And then the connection's there, and then I got to do it. You love with all your heart and hurt with all, Me too. Me too. Toodles, for real. <laughs> Gr grief is so exhausting. Mentally. Physically. I'm telling you, you guys, I'm telling you, the power of your prayers uh, this morning just, I mean, I woke up and, you know, and then, of course, the thoughts and then, and then the sadness, which is still sitting right here. I mean, really in my throat. It's just sitting here. And um, it can, I can reignite it in any minute, right? But, now I've turned my focus into let's change the story. If we are able, stay focused, change this story. That's where I'm at right now. And I want to stay there because guess what? It's more productive. There is power in prayer. You guys have proved it over and over through people in the chat, uh, people um, that I've come to know on YouTube. You guys, you guys are, grief is the price we pay for love. Deep love. You know what I'm saying? No, Leung's not in here yet. Positive and productive. Yeah, if I stay focused, and not grieve before I have to grieve, then things, then I'm being guided, right? I'm being guided to be a helper because when somebody else is grieving so hard um, and they're scared and um, that kind of stuff, they need, they need a wall. They need strength. They need someone to push them and be the voice, right? So I want to be that person. I want to be that person right now. That's the person I choose to be. That's who I have to be right now because I do nobody any good if I am wallowing. <laughs> Fresh flowers, Copina sass. <laughs> I love you guys are sassy. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, um, so we do have something coming up on the Nomadis Adventure channel that's going to be an epic series, by the way. I told my husband the importance of filming videos and like, cause when we watch somebody like renew something and then they leave out thinking like, oh man, or they never finished it like us with the boat. <clears throat> I just deleted that stuff because did I, did I delete the boat over there? I hope I did. Cause we started it. And then it became that saying, you know, like the greatest greatest day ever is when you buy your boat. And then the second greatest day ever is when you sell the boat. We gave the boat away. We, we <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gave the boat away. So I, th now if somebody started watching that like four years from now and they go, whatever happened to that boat? I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber, right? 
I may not have taken the boat off yet because I'm still not at the minutes to be able to even monetize that channel. So when you see ads over there, that's Google. They're just, thanks. Thanks for the content. <laughs> right? So you have to wait till you're a partner to be able to even get a percentage. <laughs> right? So anyway, we do have something coming up over there. And I promise I'll let you know. Um, but I'm going to bring something back to life. I feel called to do it instead of just buying a cargo trailer and hauling around something that it really won't have character. It would just be like a little cabin on wheels. But I have another way of doing a cabin on wheels where it's, it, 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 um, it, it's got character. And that's what I live for. I mean, a connection. I have to have a connection. So anyway, I, I dipped my toe into the whole thing going on. I'm not even saying any of the key words at this point. I did a live stream this morning and it was a topic I'm interested in. And and I know people will come into my chat. Hell, it could even be foodie beauty herself, you know, striking shit that ain't about her. Nobody knows. They don't tell you why. They just tell you, no. They did that with my, um, a video I did a few years ago when I was questioning a whole thing. And I'm not even saying those words. Because <laughs> I talked about it. I didn't even show anything. And they were like, Wait. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested in what's going on. And a lot of this I discuss with my husband. And people are like, you know, you need to do this. You need, don't tell me I need to do shit. That don't fly with Gen X. That don't fly with Gen X. What I do in the background was studying, learning. If I could only tell you the things I know, I would love to. But as we just dipped our toe into the pond and seen, it's a no-no. Plus, you got to deal with the court of public opinion when you're dealing with politics, religion, or medical. Everybody knows that. So it's best you don't. It's just best you don't because you have no idea the things I have learned, the things I can't even say. You have no idea. I have to say things in a matter of fact, kind of like gloss over it kind of way. But the depth of the things I know and studied, now I'm, a stu now I'm studying the apostles. Like I'm going the apostle route. I'm not going NIV. I'm not going to uh, King James. I ain't going to the, the pastors. No. I'm straight up, in-depth, hard, hard stuff. And there's timelines, and you gotta, you got to bring everybody in. you got to bring in the entire tree of where it's split off. And everything that's happening... It's already because of one son. One son that had a child with a housekeeper. And that's where all this is. See what I'm saying? But anyway, I have stu I am studying. I stud I'll study till the last day of my life. You ain't got to worry about that. It's just I know what I can talk about and I know what I can't. And I know what people, you know, they don't like religion on channels. They didn't sign up for it. And so that's why I don't put it on my channel. I understand you guys are like there's half or a third. You know, please talk to us about this. Now, we found out today. No, not going to happen. YouTube's like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. So... And we already know people don't like me to talk about it. Yeah, I don't even play around with all that stuff. I just want to study the teachings of the apostles, the end. Old Testament, the end. For real. We're not talking about anyone, Gypsy, actually. We're just talking about YouTube not being pleased with me bringing up certain things. And it's happened before. 
I've tested the waters before. Thank you, C. Martin. And it, and people, do, you know, people, it's not about, I don't even, I'm not even worried about people getting offended, to be honest. Um, because that's, that's you. If anything anyone else says offends you, then you got to work on you. <laughs> because you got to ask yourself, what about that offended me? And why? Am I told it's supposed to offend me? Or, you know what I'm saying? Well, almost, Sarah Marie. I got a little, <laughs> I got a little email. <laughs> so I put it over on, and I got one before, like four years ago. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what they did before. Actually, four years ago, they didn't even give me a little warning. They took it down. I wasn't even allowed to talk about a certain thing. And let me just say the words, uh, because it had to do with the um, same following that the Duggars do, okay? And, then, and there was a lot of things I learned, and there was a lot of um, things that were, I don't know, questionable. And we were just talking like this. There was no playing of any videos, and yeah, woo! They just took that right down and just, you know, warning, 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 right? This time, they gave me an email, and I was like, okay, okay. So I put over on members, and it's going to get deleted later on. It's going to get deleted. I have no idea, Polly, Polly Bug Play. I have no idea. I didn't even re-email them back and ask. <laughs> so what? Which do you have a problem with? Red cows or our savior? Which, what was the problem? You don't get that. You don't get specifics. Well, you would think Chantel's luxury sewer rat, which is why a lot of people have moved over to the rumble, but I heard the rumble's even, you know, starting to be like, meh, right? Hi, Leon. Uh, So that's, I know because I looked and I go, what? But whatever. I don't care. That's why I don't play around on that stuff because I already know, like in real life, um, you have no idea like w how much I study. You have no idea. I study it all because I got to be able to compare and contrast. I'm not just like a, a t one tunnel mind. I, I don't work that way. I have to compare, contrast, study. I have to um, like weigh everything out. It's just the way my brain works. Like I don't just, I'm only following this road. That's called sheep. I don't do sheep. I don't do that. It's easy to be romance, but I can't be romance. So I guess I'm not even a candidate. I'm not a candidate. I have no problem standing alone. <laughs> like literally the narrow path. I've got no problem with that. I was born alone. I'll die alone. Thank you, Leon. I gave him a little color, little flamingo pink. It's getting to that point where it's don't breathe, don't blink. Yeah. Well, and it's like, and you don't even know if you talk about those things, even as in a personal experience, you have no idea if a year from now, they'll take your channel down for it. Because now it is not even accepted, right? So you got to be very careful on this platform. Now, reviewing other people's content, like reacting to somebody's vlogs, that's like the, that's the safe route. Or just vlogging your own life. But getting into subjects that would create critical thinking or you could not sway somebody but go, what do you think? That is, it's getting the houses in order of what's allowable and what's not. And it changes constantly. So even, like I told you, they have emailed me for about videos from, well, 2020, four years ago, three and a half years ago, that were okay. They were checked, green light, you're good to go. And then three and a half years later, it's like, we removed this. I mean, they're doing 
they're going backwards. And they were like, we removed this um, because you may not have known then it's not acceptable today kind of shit. So I was like, you know what? I went in and did the work for them. Or I'm going to get an email all the time. So because we went through all the crazy when we thought, you know, we could just, you know, talk about everything kind of stuff. You know, because I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, anyway, so I went back and I removed it all. I don't like any of it. Yeah, Kelly. I don't like any of it. I mean, we're, we're, we are... Mm. Yes. See, and that's why sometimes you'll be like, why aren't you just saying it? <laughs> oh, my God. So I can't explain it over and over. Sometimes I talk in code. Hell, I used to tell a story about the orange orangutan that lived in the jungle. Like, this is, like, we did. And everybody's like, oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? I ain't into any of it anymore. None of it. I don't do any of it anymore. And today, I dipped my toe in the pond and found out. So, big deal. Don't care. But like I said, I lose this channel, I lose my other one. And I'm getting ready to do a big deal over there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not like my channel's growing. It's not like, oh my God, now I have to obey. <laughs> obey. I didn't even say that in my marriage vows. Uh, obey. We're going to we're gonna need a list. Right. There you go, Nicole. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yep. And you know what's funny is some of the stuff I questioned, which I didn't state as a fact back then, three and a half years ago, I didn't state it as a fact, I was questioning. And today, the truth is coming out. So, do we get apologized to? Nope. Nope and nope. Nope. Will you ever get that video back? Nope. So this is the way it works. I'm not used to that, but I see it. So I know how to dance around. Well, hello, Crystal girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have no idea, Jamie. Because I covered something similar to that like four years ago. And YouTube took it down on their own and gave me a warning. So there's that. But I don't bring in 350,000 views. You know what I'm saying? And, and people that do are sponsored. You know what I'm saying? So they don't tend to go through what we go through. You know you're doing something right when they say, uh-uh, right? It's fine. It's fine. We just won't, you know, we just know. When you know, you know. I did know, but I still wanted to talk about it, but... Can you even imagine if something actually were to occur... You know how they're, they're saying, you know, record everything, film everything for the 8th, right? Could you imagine if something actually occurs and everybody's put their videos up? And then they decide because something occurred. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? That it's a no-no. Can you imagine? Not even being able to film an event and upload it. It came back negative, Chris Lee? Oh, my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at all the prayers worked for Chris Lee, girl, you guys. Yes, Mama Bear. I was told it was not acceptable. That live stream. Fine. Who cares? You can't change my brain or um, my soul. So whatever. I don't know, Cammy. I don't know if it was a bot or actual people. I mean, somebody came in and bitched. Somebody I never seen before. This channel's turning religious and I'm out. Bye. God, I am not a puppet, dude. I am not a puppet. 
I don't, I don't know how many people I got to go through. But I am not a puppet. I didn't start this channel to be a puppet. If I wanted to be a puppet, right? That is ridiculous. Oh my, can you imagine being reliant to the point? I did that in the corporate world. You think I'm going to do it over here? Stop. I got out of corporate world so fast. They didn't care if I spent an hour with my kids. As long as I was productive. Anyway, we ain't talking about that shit either. Because <laughs> you know that's going to be a... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really worry about getting paid. Running around getting paid. Oh, I'll go to this app. I'll go to this app. I like hanging out with you people. And I like doing projects. And I kind of just need attention once in a while because I am pretty freaking lonely. And I go through things. And it makes me feel good to talk to you people. That's it. I don't do discords. None of that. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. I have no idea, Maria. You know what? I, I just hope if this is a movie... I, you know what? If this if this is all a movie, you know, bravo. This is the most fucked up movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not interested in any of that. Like, if my channel did go down and I missed you guys and I was lonely, I'll be on the Twitch. You'll find me. <laughs> no madness life. That's it. And I don't have any negative marks on my channel and i feel grateful that youtube emailed me first before they decided you know <laughs> how do you successfully get along with coworkers besides revealing nothing about yourself i don't know if you make it all about like let's say you're in a profession and you just make it about the skill or the trade but if you're working in a place where it's not a skill, a trade, or a profession, like a career, um, generally that's where it turns into like a hen house, right? Because most people aren't happy. Like the only way you're happy is like when, when I was a hairdresser, right? For most of my adult life, um, which I enjoyed because I could make people feel good about themselves and off they went, right? And it's like, I talked with my clients and I let my clients talk. You ever been with, with a hairdresser that, you know, maybe you just want to sit there in silence and get your hair done after the consultation. You want to feel the brush. You want to feel the water, the scalp massage, but you got a chatty Kathy over you. She's all me, 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 me. And you're like, I don't even want to talk to you. Like I'm here. Like, let, let the client guide you. You can pick up all kinds of signals, right? So, and plus I had two kids at home. So I actually enjoyed not talking about myself or any of that shit. I didn't really like to. So I wanted my client to talk to me and know that this is a good space. But, you know, hairdressers will get in the back room and mostly we talk about hair. You know, I mean, there's a couple, they go party together and they're over there talking about their shit. But the moms, we may talk about our kids, but yeah, we didn't really, you know what I mean? But if you're outside of a career or a trade, I believe that most people are just not happy. They're working for a paycheck. And so you'll see the difference. I see it on YouTube. Like even with Chantal, she wants to move in into an apartment. She's... Definitely manipulating the shit out of all y'all. I'm just myself again, trying to raise her channel, raise her money. And who knows? She may get lonely for Shalag, get approved for a visa and get the money to go back home. But she'll lose her channel. She can't keep messing with people like that, in my opinion. And her, and her and the subscribers are letting her know, you stay home, away from him, we'll build your channel. But Foodie's very selfish, so she may do all this 
just for instant gratification. Or she's doing it to test it to see if she got an apartment, if her channel's going to grow. It's A or B. It's A or B. Will she get, well, she has to be guided and taken care of. So what if she's afraid of living alone, even with it, Sam the cat, right? What if she's afraid? She will run back to comfort. We know that about her. Hands down. Does she have the strength after she's played in the THC, eaten all the food of Kuwait or Canada for a couple weeks? She's over it. She wants Salah. She still needs him to fall in love with her like she did with Nader for a year, right? We don't know. We're just here for it. Yeah, in her second live, she seemed to be backpedaling because Salah was in the chat. Salah was in the chat to keep his bag. He knows he can manipulate her with words. All she wants is that Hallmark movie love. So, you know what I mean? He's just, hi, baby. We miss you, baby. And then she's like, what am I doing here? See, he's... He's keeping that money secure. Because there is nothing about that relationship that even seems like love. It's creepy. Of course he knows what he's doing. He's a professional scammer. He's keeping that car. He's keeping that condo. But anyway, you meet like people like that in the real world too, don't you? You know when they're working for a paycheck. Because they're easily manipulated by a boss, right? They're the ass kisser. They don't want to lose their job. I mean, it's usually people that have kids, you know, and they're just trying to make it in this world. So it's really easy to see. And, and those are the ones that are most ma manipulated by top, like top people. Motives, right. Motives are clear, right? I mean, and it's obvious. I mean, if you're paying attention, but if you're like wrapped up in your own bullshit and you're a pick me or, oh, do you like me now? You know what I mean? If you're one of those, you'll never see it. If you just stand alone and you're not afraid of shit, what people think of you, what they say to you with their words, hey, you know what I mean? If you're just standing there going, oh, you're one of those, right? then you can observe and never get caught in that trap. That is facts. You can go to a trade school in 10 months. You can go and learn how to fix heating and air conditioning. One of the best besides plumbing, right? And be done with school. Slap a magnet on your van. Fill it with tools and advertise yourself. That's people who are willing to put in the time to do something where they can rely on themselves. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then you answer to yourself and that builds character. Because you want, for you to have a successful business, you have to gain trust, right? You have to gain trust. It doesn't matter what business. It could be a YouTube channel. It could be a little Etsy store. Whatever you're selling, and you gain people's trust. There's your success. It ain't about money. Oh, God. I'm so tired of people and their jealousy over money. Go make your bag. Go make it. What is this all about? Oh, foodie equals money. You think foodie is a cash cow? Then you must be living a very broke life. If you think foodie is a cash cow. She is a soap opera. And anyone covering her knows this is not a cash cow. But somebody thinks that just because you have a channel, do you even understand the, the lack of power of 3,000 views? Get out of here. Stupid. Can't fix stupid. You can only duct tape it. We can't even duct tape it at this point. Just running rampant. People leaving the barn doors open. You ain't securing any bag with foodie. The only way you're going to secure a bag 
on YouTube is be one of the first 10 that showed up on this platform. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what you did. You're in, right? But not this far into the game. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Not this far into the game. You are just having fun. Buy fresh flowers. <laughs> oh, but it's funny when you read that stuff and you're like, do you even know what's going on? I mean, are you clueless? She's not Salah's liability anymore. We'll see. We'll see. She was getting her little sad last night when Salah was in her chat. <gasps> oh, he loves me. Foodie, you are the most... You are a scammer's wet dream. They're like, I can't believe someone like this exists. Someone who just at 40 cannot not only not pick out their wardrobe according to their size. She was wearing a blue, whatever, grandma, you know, the grandma house coat with the pockets, right? Of course, now, now this one has pockets, but it's cool. Okay, see? Pockets are over here, right? I'm gonna do a little fashion show, right? Okay, not, not open with pockets where you put your tissues, your, t your tissues and your, your vag wipes. No, that is a grandma cardigan. Listen, I don't know what section she's in, but I wish somebody her age would go <whistles> over here. Can you take any any fashion sense, even from glitter and lasers, hauls, she does hauls, right, of clothes. Okay, anyway, past the clothes. Not only could she not pick out clothes, then she had a striped blue and white horizontal stripe. We've talked about it a million times. Only a man designs that. There ain't a woman out there that wants to wear horizontal stripes. We're not Saturn. And God help you if you're overweight. You That only belongs on a couch pillow. A couch, nautical couch pillow. So not only can she not pick out clothes, she can't even get her own place. She can't even go buy silverware, beautiful, uh, you know, decorate her damn home or capable of paying her own bills. No wonder... Listen, she's on a list. When when Salah's done, he got everything he wants. It's all paid off. Yeah, you're next. Uh, her name's going to his friend and his friend and his friend. Honey, you are now uno numero in the scammers' private discords. Your name has been passed around. <sighs> she's needy, incompetent. All the above. So it would be easier for her to just throw in the towel. This is too hard. I'm going back to Kuwait where I can lay in bed and watch Netflix and eat. Than to be a functioning human. And we're here to watch it. So what's the problem? You think we make bag off this? No, but I'll tell you one thing. It helps so many parents who have daughters. A. Um, <laughs> These are things that can happen to your daughters, right? We know now what to look for when it comes to, I don't know, somebody wants to marry you in 48 hours. Red flags. You know, I mean, like we're learning. We've learned that what can happen to your body if you just keep eating shit, crap food. <laughs> I just couldn't wait to have this. Yeah, now it's long shit out, but it's done all the damage to your body that you can't undo. And you've been doing it for how long? Let's just say since you were 11, 29 years. Do you know what happens to people who eat, drink excessive alcohol after 29 years? But anyway, she keeps going. She took her diabetic medication with a juice, a sugary juice. <laughs> I don't know how the two didn't collide and <laughs> explode. <laughs> yeah, she's like, 
we get to be the Dr. Phil of watching her. So what's wrong with that? Not a damn thing. That's why fair use is an actual act. You saw that? She is eating everything she missed. She is smoking all the THC and taking the gummy she ain't had. This is just, to me, it could be a visa run. And she's going to play the, I, I just can't help it. I have to go. It was a visa run. If that's what she does, it was a visa run. And we already know it's a visa run, but you know what I mean? She really believes that Salah is going to fall in love with her. She has it in her head, just like Natter. Just like she thought Natter. Oh, you're in love with me. You know, tell everybody you love me. Just tell them you love me. He goes, you crazy. <laughs> this is our soap operas. I have never met anyone like her. And that's why I watch and that's why I react. And there you go. So if you have any more questions about my channel, please drop it in the non-existent complaint box. <laughs> she loves to pull tricks on her audience. And she missed out because she was on a seven-day strike. She missed out on all the super chats for her birthday. You notice all the money she's talking about? Remember the car? You didn't just get that car fixed. When you came home the last time, you were filming inside the Kia dealer and telling us it was $1,500. You, ma'am, are an e-bagger without straight up saying it. It wasn't this visit. It was the last. You want money to go home. You cannot fly back to Kuwait until you've earned the money and you know it. You're well aware of how broke you are. Because this girl never spoke of money, didn't give a shit when she was making that bag. And now, she's a burden to Salah. Right? She went from the hero to the zero. So, she, she got back home for her birthday. She went shopping, got all the gifts, and then she was on a band. So, why not go home and get the gifts and, you know, pop up live and, oh my God, and then everybody's super chatting her. Yeah, who spends $1,500 on brakes? Gee, God dang, I don't even care if rotors are included. That's insane. That's what it costs to do the whole underneath of Max. Bushings, bearings, um, struts. Um, oh, God, there was so much. Adam mechanics. Um, struts, suspension, wheels, and tires. Well, it was more than that. We got to leave the wheels and the tires out of that deal. But the whole underneath. And um, to have it, um, uh, whatever you call, uh, aligned. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if she made a video coming home. Yeah, Samantha, yeah, we got to put a pin in that. It's fine. I'm sure the Kia suspension was... It could have been. I mean, she hit a shit ton of curbs and animals and, and potholes. I get that. But that can be taken care of with tires, right? Get new tires, get it balanced, get a front end alignment. That's it. But this whole brakes and rotors, 1500 No. Uh, unless she told Salah... Oh, it's going to cost, you know, 1500 I got to take it out of the bank. Now she's upped it to two grand. So there's that. So she just has a, a short-term memory that she already filmed inside Kia the last visit and told us it was 1500 She acting like it just came out of the shop. Like, ma'am, no, no, no. Anyway, um, you have to follow her like a bouncing ball or she will rewrite everything. But anyway, I have a feeling she was like, oh, I got to get my car fixed. And it's going to, you know, this is the Western world slot. It's very expensive here. So I got to draw out 1500 to get the car fixed. And you know, you know where that other grand went. You know what I'm saying? Does everybody know what I'm saying? Do -do -do -do. Now, we're not even just talking the outhouse. Did you hear her today say she was thinking about Texas Hold'em? You know, she's a gambler, right? And she cannot control 
her desire to gamble. Oh, all that came out when she was with Nana. So don't think. She may or may not have lied to Salah again to get what she wants. And who knows? Maybe Uncle Phyllis likes to go run into the casino too with her. I used to go, how is she broke at 12 grand? How is she broke just paying the villa? She don't even pay taxes. How is she broke after 10 days? You know what I'm saying? Then when she divulged the fact that they were going to the casino. Oh, yeah. It's just one more, one more thing to her list of addictions. Men, food, casino, drugs. We're talking quite an issue here. And did you hear her say she needs to be diagnosed? Do you think she's going back? A lot of people do. She's going back and forth. Yes. Um, I don't know if Salah's the one that got her gambling, but I think he did. I really think he did. She never made that kind of money before, and Nader is a spider monkey. He's all over the place. He's like a, a feral animal. <laughs> he is feral AF, right? And um, he, like, he just talks her into all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it was just spend her money, like, even sending money to his family. He was... Nutty. I think Salah's a little more cunning about it. So she thinks Salah's responsible, a more responsible than Nader. But Salah does it in a different way than Nader. Nader was just, ah, $300 for food. Let's go to the casino. Wee, right? He was just a wee, wee, wee. He had her head spinning on her shoulders. Where Salah's more like, I need a new car. We need new phones. But, you know, like, his always had a purpose. And the fact that he wasn't making foodie crazy or high out of her head and didn't know what was going on, she thinks he's the more responsible scammer. I can't with this one. I can't. I can't. She's holding the candle of, of Nader to Salah. So, of course, he looks like the lesser of the two evils. Well, if she's addicted to her money, she'll stay in her channel. Yeah, her channel would make the money again. But maybe that's the plan. She's going to stay long enough for her channel to be making that kind of money again. And then she's gone. They may have cooked this up together. Because I even said a hundred times, and it was just proven. You go back to Canada, ma'am. You get your channel back. And she could be just doing this for a hot second. Just for the next month. And she's gone. For that next paycheck. Yeah, three grand alone on wheelchairs. Well, right. And then God only knows what she gave, you know, not her. This plan on leaving and coming home was set in stone. Yeah, something's going on. Something's going on. We'll find out. That's why we watch it. There is no other YouTuber that does this stuff. Like, that literally, there, <laughs> there isn't any. Oh my gosh. And we try to look at this with logic, critical thinking, and God dang it, we want the humor. You believe it too? Yeah. If she gets Sam back, which she claims, she won't leave him again. Okay, so let's say she gets a place. Let's say it's with Auntie. Let's say they get a place together, or Pete. She's going to leave that cat with Pete. Pete, Sam... Pete loves Sam. And if she gets Pete's a home, he will take Sam. Stop. She broke a promise to him when she went to Kuwait that she was going to set him up in his own studio apartment or one bedroom. Right? Now, Pete's, Pete's isn't a foreigner to sleeping on a couch. He slept on his mom's couch forever. Okay? So let's say Foodie gets a one bedroom. And you know what, Pete? I'm taking the bedroom, but when I leave, when I leave, I'm still going to pay my half. So when I come back, I have a place to stay, but it's really yours. 
but I'm gonna need you to take care of Sam. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you can't trust either one of these two. Her or Pete's. But this is because her channel's broke and she, like, she wanted to go home, do the THC, eat all the stuff, be home for her 40th. This was what dragged her back on a plane, trust me. So she's gonna stay a little bit, okay? She's gonna stay a little bit. She's gonna stay a little bit and get that channel built. And she needs to bank that money. Because if not, Salat is going to dump her. And if you think she's doing this for herself, no. She's doing this so Salat will fall in love with her and never leave her. She was doing it with Nader. I'm telling you, everything she does is... Because if, if she didn't... Listen, did you ever see her before Nader? Before Frank. Frank's the one that did it, wasn't he? Anyway, before Frank, she was just like... Not desperate, didn't act like this at all. I mean, she was fine being Pete's and Herbie and best friends for life. Don't you know about my best friend? But then somebody opened and woken the vagina fairy and she's just been <laughs> like a crazy pubescent teenager ever since. I mean, her head is swimming in hormones that she don't have. Lust. <gasps> That's what it is, the devil. The devil's breaking you. No man wants to marry you from talking to you on the phone. Man, you are grandiose, bitch. I don't, nobody thinks there's, they, come on now. There's always a motive when somebody doesn't even know you. How long, oh, how long would Salah pretend to be the doting, the doting husband you've always dreamed of. Oh, up until you left. Red room, huh? Red room, uh, Kybella. He's putting on an act for you, for your money. This is called playing the role of a lifetime to get what he wants. You are literally, you shouldn't even be allowed outside. You should, definitely shouldn't be allowed driving, but you shouldn't even be allowed outside. I'd be shocked if she got her own place with Pete's. Then you're locked in for a while. Pete's will stay. He wants out of that attic. He wants out of the attic. He's in somebody else's house. He can't cook in their kitchen. He's probably dying from microwave food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's already cheating again, probably. Absolutely. She probably doesn't even know how many are on a hook. Foodie is the easiest one because she don't care to leave the apartment. He can put an air, she can set location to where my hubby is and he just dropped that phone off somewhere. Somewhere he says he's gonna be. Here, hold my phone for a while. He's got three more for each bitch. You're just too, I can't with you. Listen, if I went over there, that whole thing would be, I'd, I'd be following him around. Well, how would I dress? I don't know. I, I, I can't stand out. But she would be one of them women you see on Dr. Phil. Like I said, they bring the scammer out on the stage and he says, ma'am, I've never met you. I've never talked to you. This is my name. This is where I live. I'm in the flesh. And the, the women are still like, uh-uh, no, no, that, no, mm-mm. <laughs> That's foodie. Dr. Phil could bring her out on stage and straight up, show you everything that's going on. All the Kybellas, right? That don't even know about each other. How many little places are these women paying for in Kuwait? Like, for real? <laughs> I mean, I don't think anybody as stupid as Foodie would go out there and just sit and wait. <laughs> I just really don't. But in other countries, right? Because, you know, that Amy... You know, uh, you know, there, there's some desperate girls. And then that other one, Planet with a Palette. There, there are women desperate for love that they'll just be satisfied with this online, you know, we're married online. Yeah. And um, I just send them, you know, some money. Oh, you know, this didn't work out. Can you send me a little more? Oh, I'd love to come see you, but I just don't have the money. Oh, here's some more. Well, make sure you tuck it in a book. Tuck it good into a nice novel. 
you know, page by page, you know, put all the hundies in the pages, wrap it up like a gift. So when it goes through the scanner, they don't see the money. They just see the book. There's so many ways. Women are crazy. I can't with them. I can't with them. She said she doesn't want to live worrying about what he's doing. That is BS. BS, BS, BS. She's mad at him for something that may have occurred yesterday or the day before. But then, oh, no. She's still mad at him for something. Trust me. She probably caught him again. She caught something on his phone again. She went home to celebrate her 40th birthday. And he showed up in her chat. You know what I mean? Last night. Mm-hmm. Baby, stop. God. Oh, my God. Him and his friends probably laugh their ass off. They don't care if they destroy her spirit, her self-esteem. They don't care. What man that loves you is going to watch you gain 100 pounds and be the one bringing you the food? Who? Oh, don't tell me she can have a tantrum in another country that big that he gives in. Stop it. The way he talked to Kai Bella, nah, he don't come across to me as someone you can, uh, yeah, have a tantrum with. It is BS. All of it's BS. But we love it, and that's why we watch it. And it's the only thing we can critically think about and not get in trouble on the tubes. She went home to get her birthday cards and get high and eat all the poutine and, and whatever those chicken, nashy, whatever looking things are, you know she got a bag full of them. She ate two, and somebody goes, where's your backups? And she started laughing. I'm like, girl, trust me when I, did you see the box she opened last night? It was this big, from Hubert's. And then they forgot her chicken strips. If you don't think she didn't call them today and get those fucking chicken strips, then I don't know you. I don't know you. You've seen her before. If she eats something, remember with Uber Eats, and it wasn't 1,000% what she was wanting, but she'll eat it all anyway. She took a picture, and then we'll get a refund right on her phone, and then eat it. We don't know. Boo squeezy. We don't know. Putin is French fries covered in gravy. She was drinking gravy again. You know, she's doing all this old reminiscence of old foodie beauty stuff. She was. She wants to sell this shit hook, line, and sinker that she is committed to building her channel in Canada. And you just wait. Wait for the, um, you guys, you don't understand. I miss him. He's my husband. I love him. I have to go back after she's achieved it or got all the money she wanted. Because remember what she said? Oh, shut up. I will manipulate you and you will eat that shit up. You'll be back. That's what she told people. That's a truth serum when she was drinking. You will eat it up. Eat it up. Eat it up. And they do. That's why I love the Beezers. Was that uh, plain cheeseburgers that actually showed up? Because I got to believe that plain cheeseburgers doesn't believe this bullshit. I'm pretty sure plain cheeseburgers is, is um, blocked on my channel. But whatever. Yeah, I miss my family, and I miss Julia, and, and and Sam will be okay with Pete's till I come back. What she wants is enough money to run back and forth, but she can't physically until she gets her health under control. Because right now, I mean, I don't even know how she's survived all these flights. I mean, how has she survived them? You cannot sit like this and not move. Not even like, you know, when you're on a plane, I put my leg up, right? I got my leg up here. Sometimes I got my leg up over here on the window, right? Wah. Got my leg up on the window, right? Or I got my legs both up and crossed underneath me, right? Because I got to move around on a four or five hour flight, right? 14, 13 hours, 13, we'll say 13. How in the hell do you sit like this with all that fluid and weight on your feet for 13 hours straight and not have a complication like pooling of fluid, blood clots. 
I couldn't imagine. So anyway, yeah. Hell, even when I drive, I sit with a leg up. <laughs> I have my leg up like this when I drive, long distance, like this. I do. Because it's comfortable. I get tired of this foot that does nothing because I don't have a clutch. Sitting out, it's sitting down there on the floor. I want to do this. I want, I want my arm somewhere. My leg, want, you know, I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? I move too much. I can't sit still that long. I would never in my lifetime get on a flight that long, even at the shape I'm in, let alone super morbidly obese. That is like tick, 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 tick. Boom! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's there's a lot of things to be said about pressure, air pressure, and it's pressure. I don't care if she's got, I don't care if she's got compression hose to her neck. Eventually, this is a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Remember when everybody was speculating she was going to go home for her 40th? Oh, no. I'm not healthy enough to travel. I couldn't travel right now if I wanted to. Boom, she's in Canada. I won't do more than five hours either. <laughs> I'm being honest. See, she lies. She's sneaky, conniving, covert, covert narc, <laughs> right? In my opinion, because everything she does is a game and a mind. So, listen, Salah, this is funny because you really think, you know, you got your game, right, with the eyebrow thing. Hello, ladies. This girl is going to wear you out to where you end up, you end up deporting yourself. Like, you'll find out. And I think she likes the game with Salah, who's in control. And until she conquers... She didn't conquer Nader. That's why it was like, but she conquered Bibi. She conquered Peace. In fact, they bored her after that. She's kind of like that sister on Snow White. Uh, my pretty. You bore me, right? She ain't leaving you alone until you bore her. And then she don't care if she leaves you high and dry. She don't care if she leaves you stuck with all those payments. She'll go home. She will change banks faster than you could blink an eye, buddy. So don't think she is the victim. She likes it. Keeps her alive, I suppose. <coughs> Still suffering. That was raining. Today was a rainy day. Today was a rainy day. So was uh, Foodie ranting in her car? Somebody said she's ranting. It's the only floor, floor place she gets with Salah. Right. She'll take it. Yeah. And think about this. Okay. Can we think about this? Um, she only gets upset when he challenges her. And that's the way she was with Nader. Um, whenever Nader challenged her, she would rage in her car and make him look like crap. She's not to that point with Salah yet uh, because she knows Nader's watching. Do you see what I'm saying? Because Nader always said, you should, you know, I don't want you talking about me. So she is honoring that with Salah because Nader's watching. It's probably still to her a partially open window. She can't rant for 90 days. Yes! She can rant. She can rant all she wants. She just better be careful who she rants about. Some of us have an army. <laughs> but uh, you know what I mean. I, you know what? I'm ready for if she gave me another strike. I really am. But she'll be fine. She learned a lesson. Just leave people's channels alone. Who cares if you like what they say? Don't watch. Yeah, according to Heather, hello. Rule number one, foodie lies. Yep. She's not really ranting? Okay. 
Well, some people put it as a title, so you'll go watch. Listen, if it's in my title, then that's what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not the Canadian prepper. God, I would have dug a bunker four years ago if I listened to him. I'd still be underground. Yeah, well, no, she don't have two strikes because she would have been on, she'd have been on timeout for two weeks. First is a warning. She has a warning and one strike. Then two strikes, you're on vacation for two weeks. Third strike, you're out. See, the last time she just got taken down over a report it wasn't through the striking system. Now that the striking system is happening, if she got terminated, she ain't coming back. The end. And we wouldn't strike her, none of us, because then we lose our story, we lose our soap opera, and then we gotta move on to somebody else. Something's up, I can't wait to see what's really going on. She is acting weird. She's acting really weird. She's acting like, she went over there pissed off because maybe Salah wasn't even going to spend her birthday with her, right? We know how quick she gets mad and even, okay? So if I were a guessing woman, I would say he wasn't going to take her anywhere and do anything spectacular for her birthday. I'll probably even get her anything, right? <sighs> he could have upgraded the napkin ring, right? To maybe something with some sparkle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Anyway... So my thought is, here's what happened. So she's like, I'm going home for my birthday. And he don't care. He don't care. Right. And, she, and when she gets upset and her only, like her only self-soothing is food, right? And that's not doing well for her. She wanted to go home and get her THC. Right? Her channel's hurting. Her mom probably flew her home. That's why she flew through Germany. <laughs> right? Her mom probably flew her home. On a packed airplane instead of Emirates. Nobody can afford Emirates. So it's, you know, she got leg room. <laughs> and they, they always accommodate her. Oh, come back here, sweetheart. We'll give you three seats. $6,000 worth of seats. And for two grand. Whatever. But, so she didn't have a good experience flying on a packed airplane. Anyway, so she went back and she's playing this little game with him using us, the audience. So what she's doing is doing this on purpose to get him watching. She used to do this with Nader. Why else would you tell the things you're saying and then you're backtracking and then you're skating over them unless you are not sure if, if, if you're done punishing Salah? Hell yeah, in the meantime, she's gonna get high as a kite and eat all the non-halal food they make. She probably ate three bacon cheeseburgers by now. She got the hijab pulled under here. Uh, this is suffocating me. I need to move this down. She's already letting him know she's th this close. She's this close from hair fibers and clips, right? She's letting him know. We know when she's punishing somebody, it's great. Because I've seen that out of teenagers. It's the reverse psychology bullshit. I live for that. So I started watching intently instead of having to watch the chat. I was like, look at her go. Now I know why some people have to watch her shit before they go live and react to it. Even though I like the raw, right? The raw and the real. Um, because you're going to catch things that you may not catch because you're reading your chat. Oh, hell yeah. She's smoking like a chimney, please. She's eating anything and everything she wants. She's getting high, partying with auntie. They'll probably go to the casino. She goes, she even said, if you didn't catch it, she said, I was just thinking about Texas Hold'em. That means casino. What, you think she's going to the World Series of Poker and she's going to sit at a table in those big beetle freaking sunglasses? That ain't, that ain't, the, that ain't the... Texas Hold'em, she's talking about, she's talking about video, video poker, which she probably sucks at, by the way. I've won more royal flushes than she probably could ever dream of back in the day. Why did Andrew get hidden? Is Andrew not a nice person? I trust you, Rebecca. Rebecca's always got her eyes open. Leon, 
So if you're going to come in here and stroke my hair and then let out your true intentions, they're all over it. If you're creepy, if you're whatever, go be creepy somewhere else. Oh, foodie loves creepy. Go over there, Andrew. She will love it. She loves creepy guys. From what Shelly said a while ago, Salah can only go to nine countries and most are in the Middle East. Yep. It's something like that. Six or nine. Andrew was being overly nice to you? Like, was he being a pervert? Where does Amber live? I don't know. By her mom. And her mom, you know, they, they go out gambling all the time together. He was being a naughty boy. Wow. It's sad. I guess he'll move on. <laughs> it's probably your mama. He's probably got a thousand sock accounts. He likes every chat to be about him. You never know with that guy. I mean, somebody that, um, yeah, you, you never know. Not a perv, just really nice. Being weird, saying he liked me and I love him. Oh, I seen that. He said, you love me. Whatever. Has that bothered you? You should have said, yeah, I do. Licky like a lollipop. Why can't you people get sassy? Why you gotta get, what, why is there, come on now. Yeah, I wonder how Amber's doing. Did she uh, vlog anything about tornadoes? Because I know Oklahoma was like one of the locations. Yeah, you guys got to grow skin. You cannot just be blocking people because, you know what I mean? Block the person yourself. But I said vile or racist, they're out. The end. Cammie said thank you. Maybe he thought you women needed attention, like some loving. <laughs> Yikes. I, could, I couldn't even say it with a straight face. Not everyone has my spunk, but like I said, this is my channel. So I can't just, you can't just keep blocking people unless they're racist or vile. I've said this a million times. <laughs> it hurts me. Well, that could be Cammy. Yeah. Maybe he was autistic and look what you guys just did. Everyone hold on to Amber in case of a tornado. True that. Time to take back the wrenches now. We ain't taking back wrenches. Leo's like, really I know, you're the boss, I know. My 24-year-old boy took his brother out to the casino for his 19th birthday last week. He spent $100 and felt like crap about it. When he came home, I said, good. There you go. Every lady has to deal with him. Every no, you just can click his name and you don't have to see what he says. I appreciate you. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. Well, think about it. Thank you, Just Rhonda. But think about it. Like, what if somebody in here is like really sassy and they want to like spar with Andrew? We can't say, well, you know, three people don't want him in here. So he's got to go. I want to spar with Andrew. Yeah, what's wrong with a guy flirting? You know you love me. And you say, no, I don't love you. You're creeping me out. That's okay. Don't be a creep. I don't know. But I get it. That's why I said. That's why I don't cover politics, religion. Well, we know why I don't cover religion now. Good God. Lose your channel over that shit. But I'm just saying, like, I don't cover any of these subjects. Because you have no idea what I deal with. I'm my own damn channel. I have to deal with everyone's personalities. I have to deal with... People who can handle sass, crass, and ass. I have to deal with people who can't. I have to deal with sensitive. I have to deal with snowflake. I have to deal with, you know, Generation X, the feral as fuck ones, including me, right? That we don't get our feelings hurt ever. And I got to lump myself into all this. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. So then when I make these statements do you know how many people walk around saying uh no madness no madness mods block everybody 
Do you know how much I see that? I've lost people off my channel because the rumor went around. So it is what it is. I just ask, please, only if they're racist or vile, because you all have the opportunity to not see what they say. You can block them from you seeing what they say. You know it got ugly out again. I can hear the wind. Yeah, nothing bothers me either. Nothing bothers me. And I get mad though, like when something, like somebody says something and I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I got something in my head I can pull out to say back, but I can't do it right away. I'm one of those that go, ah, oh, man, you know what I should have said? You know what I mean? It, that's what I should have said. Damn it. Right? But sometimes I'll be like, and that's because I, I know it's in there. It's in there somewhere. You know, my old bar, bartending days, I could pull that shit out like that. I was just like, boom, boom, boom. Now, you know, it's a little cobwebby in that section of my brain. Because I haven't had to like, you know, sass someone in a long time. I used to do it on the daily and now I got to work at it. Hello, Nancy. You're getting ready for a storm. I'm telling you, shit's about to get wild. They've been covering this. Ryan Hall, y'all, on YouTube, has been covering it for like two days straight. I'm going to get off here and watch what's going on. So I need prayers to all you people in Tornado Alley. Um, please, if they tell you to take cover, take cover. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for all you people affected by the tornado. It wasn't just you, Heather. It was Cammy, then Grace, then you. Yeah, and I get that. And and I see where you could be like, you know what? Fuck this dude. He's trying to derail the chat. I get it. I get it. I didn't get to read any of it, so I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your word for it. For real. Because I trust Rebecca and out of Becky. I got mods I trust that when they say enough's enough, because they some of them want to hang out and have fun, and they don't want some dick in there. Just put them on a timeout. And then we'll reassess them when they come back. I mean, sometimes, you know what? <laughs> Rebecca, not a Becky. Sometimes she puts people. <laughs> 86,000 second time out. Now that makes me laugh. I'm like, I didn't even know. Like, how long is that? Is that like a week? Is that like seconds? 86,000 seconds. How long is that, people? 24 hours, 48? Was he being creepy? Fine. Rebecca, she just done hit Andrew. Go ahead, Andrew. Andrew, hit us with your best shot. You got one chance, bud. One chance. Let's dance. She unhid you. Becky unhid you. She wants to know what's up. Now, do you have the ding -a ling -a lings to come back in here? Give us your best shot. What's your intentions? What's your intentions? Cammy saying hi. What's up? Now, ladies, if you were ever followed around, like in a store, you felt like you were being followed in a store. You're pushing a cart. You get this eerie feeling. You look. You see some eyes. You know they're they're like right on you, right? You're like stop, right? And then you go down another aisle, and you're like stop. Right? What? What do you guys do? What do you guys do? Because I know I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh my god, I'm not walking off to that parking lot by myself. He's got stage fright. Mm -hmm. You go to customer service, do you? And what do they do for you? They walk you out to your car. They call the police. What is it? It's Andrew. He's the one following you in the store. Okay, it's Andrew. <sighs> You don't like, you don't sass them or anything. You don't sass. Listen, here's the best thing you do. You find, and listen, when you're talking about, like, listen, you zero in on the baddest looking motherfucker in that store. You zero in on him and you go, come here. 
Now I got this creep following me and I feel like we need to mess his day up, right? So you can just tell the guy, can you just pretend like we're together? And you make sure you give him that look. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you guys ever like picture doing that? I do. I did that once when we were being followed um, in Mount Clemens in an alley. Huh? I said, girls, I forgot my phone in the car. And they're like, no, you didn't. I go, I forgot my phone in the car. So then they're like, huh? And then we went to the car. We just turned around, started walking to the car, unlocked the doors and got in. And I'm like, did you guys not pay attention? <laughs> uh, that wasn't going to end well. So then we went over to another area because we were doing a photo shoot. We went over to another area because we wanted part of this park. So anyway, we parked, got out of the car, and I'll be damned. I'll be damned if they didn't come walking down the road. And I said, okay, stop the photo shoot. There was a guy in his driveway washing his car or his boat. I can't remember which one. Anyway, I said, we're going to go over there and we're going to tell the guy, we need to talk to you like we came to your home. We're family, friends, something shit. So we did. And he was like, we were just talking like really loud. And, and uh, he's like, you know, talking about dinner. Like this guy was so good. And they turn around, they laughed. Like that's kind of like getting in the cars, three girls and running. They could chase you. So you just find somebody Somebody's house, somebody's outside, or even in the store. And big bad motherfucker, you trust me. He, they think you're together. They think you're together. Because guess what? You walk out, you walk to your car, and you're waiting for the popo. Um, that doesn't secure anything. Now they know where your car is. They know what car is yours. But I trust me, if you, if you pick the biggest, baddest, I don't care what age he is, but make sure he is a towering MFer. And you say, listen, here's what's going on. Could you please help me? They will help you. There are good people. Okay, Callie girl, she's already coming in at six feet tall. Yeah, right. So you're good. You're, you're good. I'm just saying, if you get in that situation, don't go to your car. Because once the police leave, that they take, they ain't going home with you. They're not going home with you. And now they got your plate number. And now they'll follow you from a distance because you pissed them off. Yes, do not even go out to your car. I mean, put on a vest and pretend like you're an employee. You could even go over to the, and say, hey, could you just give me a vest to put on? So this person thinks I'm, I, I just, I'm working. Like I'm just coming to work. Throw the cart in an aisle. Like you got to think of scenarios and you got to be smart about it where you are not a target anymore. You're off the table. Or act crazy. <laughs> yeah, that would work. <laughs> that really would work. Maybe. Only if you're in the sporting good aisle. <laughs> then you can act crazy. Or a tractor supply with a with a bull whip. Okay? Know what you're doing. But always think through a plan. Always. But calling 911 and staying in the store, you call police and they're telling you, um, there could be a retaliation. Especially if the police believe that, that you were just being paranoid. See, we don't need that shit. Start barking. <laughs> you had a motorcycle gang try to open your car doors. That doesn't even sound like what motorcycle gangs are about. They're about protecting women. Must not have been a very good gang. They must have just come up overnight. They're not one of the chapters, you know what I'm saying? Because the chapters, no. You could roll down the window and go, this guy's following me and trust me. They'll say, you get going, we got this. And I know this for a fact. Read my post. Where, oh, where could your... I had an undercover shopper follow me and went to customer service. He followed me there and I told them he was following me. He got written up for stalking. He said he thought I looked suspicious. Yeah. 
That that probably only happens once in a great while. But you'll know when somebody's like a creep creep. Like for real. They've showed you on videos. I'm going to show them a foodie video. Right. Right. You got to teach your daughters too. Don't run to your car because don't run to your car because now you've just given away. They could have put they could put an air tag on your car so fast. Even if you called the police in. Right. They could drop an air tag on your car because they're pissed off that the police are there. So just don't please create a scenario where you're with a big bad motherfucker and you are not even on the radar anymore. Right. Like, oh, shit, she's with somebody and then they move on. And even the big band MF will drop, walk you out to your car. Might even walk you out hand in hand. <laughs> anyway, I got to go. Um, sorry about the live stream. Um, it's going to get deleted. Because I don't even know if it's allowed to be on members. I think it is because it's unmonetized on members. Like, there's no ads. So, it just stays kind of private. I don't know. I have no idea, but I was thinking I'll just take it down. Yeah. Teach your daughters. Street smarts. For real. Street smarts. Because please, piece of paper, um, a talking to in the parking lot in front of your damn car, that, that once they drive away, you're on your own. So just make yourself not a target. Off the table. Pee your pants if you have to. I don't even care. That probably wouldn't even work. But a big mf -er or a group of people will work. And you stay in the store till they leave. I, there's no way for me to ask them. They sent me an email telling me <laughs> this is not the content. It's sensitive or whatever the hell they call it. I spend lots of time in the sporting goods department at Walmart. Mm. Yeah, you could purchase something real nice, real quick. You and me. You're walking out with brass knuckles, bear spray, and a big tree trimmer. Big, sharp tree trimmer, right? You're just walking out the store. You pay for it. <laughs> yes, it's very scary. Listen, I've been through. I've been chased in a car by, uh, never mind. And it's those three men, okay? Might have been four. I only seen the driver, the passenger, and then the backseat person on my side. And they chased me at 2.30 in the morning when I got out of work, which means they were watching me. They were in the parking lot watching for a single blonde probably to get in their car. Or I pissed them off when I was bartending. I don't know. But they followed me, and they ran every red light and every stop sign that I ran. And um, I didn't, weird, I had God with me because I didn't panic. And we didn't have cell phones, couldn't call 911, couldn't call anybody. So I had to think. And I had like 20 minutes to think before I was home. Didn't even know where the police station was. Yeah, I was only 22 years old. And I thought of that all by myself. How I got away from them, all by myself. And they were determined. Now, I think about that at this age. And I was 22. I would have been a documentary. I would have been an unsolved case. I know that now. Can you imagine? No cell phones. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, man. There's, there's a few instances in my life where I'm like, huh, I definitely was protected. I, I was protected. I had a guardian angel. For real. All right, guys. I'm glad you're all like, love you. I love y'all. Andrew didn't come back. So, uh, maybe we'll see you next time, Andrew. All right, guys. I love y'all. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll go over all the nonsense. We'll go back. Listen, we're going to compare... When she was in Canada, I'm going home just to get healthy, right? We're going to compare that. We're probably going to do a side-by-side.
Let's do it. Where she's saying the same shit. And she jumped right on that plane and was gone. As soon as Salah told her he loved her. I love you. Come back to me, Chantal. I knew you loved me. Right? We're going to compare it. We're going to compare it. All right, guys. I love you.